hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about adding custom fields to api response so let me show you one thing so this is my local site and this is the list of my post and uh, this is the api to list all post which i already showed in my previous videos so if you don't know how this postman and api works i would suggest to watch the video from the beginning of the playlist so that you know what you are doing otherwise keep going on this video so this is the api which uh, fetch all the list of um, post and here by default we have some data over here so, so let me uh, fetch only one post so if you pass the id at the end of this api you will get only that particular post into the uh, response so as you can see that's the um, Mahabharata by API and uh, in this post I have added <coughs> custom fields over here and those custom fields will not be there in this API so I want to add that field inside that uh, inside this api so first let me add a value over here valmiki and update it so post has been updated let's see if we get that or not by default so if we check uh, carefully here we have section called meta but we don't get any data inside that so mm -hmm. we don't get any um, custom fields by default into the api so let's add that so to add this uh, field into the api this is the function we can use so first of all i am going to open my custom plugin so if you don't know how to create custom plugin i will provide the link into the description section so let me create a new file called custom api dot php so inside includes i will add a new file custom api dot php i'm gonna close this so the function v have to use is this so as this is the api we have to use <coughs> add action rest rest in it i forgot rest api in it so it is the similar to init function for the web uh, when it comes to rest api use this action rest api in it and i'm gonna add a callback sorry Function 
function and inside this function we are going to use this function register rest request field which accepts three parameters or arguments first is the object type so our object type is post um, if you have any custom post type so instead of post you can use the custom post type and term and comment these are the different object types so in our case it will be a post so i'm gonna add post then the second parameter is attribute so which attribute so for example you see over here left side everything is called attribute so you have to specify that attribute over here so i'm gonna add custom field i'm gonna add this custom field so that it stay consistent so this is going to be our attribute new attribute mm -hmm. in the api then this is the args and it is in, a, in array format so i'm gonna add those arguments and first argument will be the get callback argument so get callback And I'm gonna add um, pwp get custom field. Now, whatever we want to get uh, for uh, whatever we want to get a value for this parameter that we should write in this uh, callback. So now I'm gonna add this function which has uh, which will have argument default argument object so now first let's try to return a test string and let's see if our new custom field has been added to api or not so i'm gonna run the api and uh, let's see as you can see our custom field has been added but we should get this saved value over here over here and uh, for that let's see where it is storing the data so i'm gonna open my local database and i'm gonna open posts meta post meta tab and id is one zero two one so i'm gonna search the id and uh, here this uh, in this meta key our value has been stored so first let's see what we get in this object so i'm gonna print this object and uh, i will change view to raw and send so this is the object printed and in the id we get um post id so i'm gonna sign post id sorry equal to dollar obj and it's an array so i'm gonna 
get the id over here and in the return i will use get post meta post id sorry post id and this is the meta key and if you don't know this function i will provide the link into the description section this function simply gets the metadata specified by meta key for particular post so now if i run this let me remove the print okay i already removed it now if i run this api again we will get the particular stored data let me change change it to pretty and as you can see you will get this custom field and the stored value let's try to change this value to one two three and let's see if that effect our response or not yep it is um, applying our change now we have created uh, this custom post type in the past which is called books and in this book I have Um, this field and this field as well so first of all let's try to get books over here so the api would be post type is book so wpjson wpv2 book and let's try to get the api so it is saying rest no route no route was found so in this case i'm gonna open my custom post type dot php file where i have registered this post type and in that post type i will pass a parameter show in rest true i hope this parameter is correct let's see yeah show in rest now let's try to refresh this again now we have the list of books you can see a cf book Two, then ACF book one so we are getting all these books into the API now let's similar similarly we are we will fetch only one result and here in this he want to get custom data of this book post type and here if you see that this field one has the value value called uh, apj kalam and field two has homi baba so I'm going to change this post to book and I will call this as authors book authors and let's see where mm -hmm. these two datas are stored so the id is 1015 i'm gonna search this again 1015 
and this is the meta key field underscore one and field underscore two so i'm gonna return the array over here in which first i'm gonna say author one and i will get the data of this fields field one and similarly for author two it will be field two and let's try to check if we get book multiple book authors so i'm gonna refresh this and if i check over here you can see we have now this multiple book authors so this is how we can add extra parameters to post api or custom post api if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys